Hi guys, uh, welcome to today's lesson where we are going to sign up to uh, Microsoft Azure for free, um, then launch a VM instance and then SSH into that instance once we're done. So the first thing we need to do is then click for free. I'll put the link in the description. Um, you can follow along and get started. And then once in, if you have an account, sign in. If you don't have an account, then create one. And it's just going to ask you for some details. I'll enter mine now and then we will uh, pick it up once we get on to the console. That's us on the Azure Azure portal. Um, you get 12 months of free services and then on top of that actually you get um, $150 or pounds of further credit if you run above um, that free resource. Um, so it's quite a lot and should be more than enough to do any of the lessons um, that I'm going to put on the channel. Uh, for now, so the first thing we're going to do then is just spin up a virtual machine as always and we'll see how we get logged in So if you go to the top search button on the portal and you type in virtual, you'll see virtual machines. Let's click on that and um, We want to do a new virtual machine. So we click add virtual machine And we want to keep it you see in that free trial. Let's keep that on resource group Let's give the virtual machine a name. I'm going to call this demo one Delete. Image, let's keep it on the Ubuntu server. Uh, size, really, uh, we'll keep it on the smallest size. Um, if you go to see all, you can see that the actual, the smallest size they have is a seven gigabit temp storage. We'll keep it on the free tier one uh, for now. It actually doesn't make any difference to us. We want an SSH key, yep. Username, we'll keep it as a zero user. We want to generate a new key power, so it'll download it as we go. Uh, we'll allow selected ports. I actually am going to put on HTTP 40 as well, because we'll maybe create a little web server at the end, and then we'll be able to log into it. Um, that's fine. Let's just create and review. That's perfect. Let's click create. And then let's make sure that we um, download that key pair and create the resource. So we really need to download that key pair onto our downloads. You can see that that has downloaded successfully and the resource is up and running or off and running. And that's our deployment in progress. Um, it'll tell us um, once it's complete and ready to use. So we'll just pause the video here and we'll pick it up once um, the machine is ready to go. Okay, that's the resource up and running. So if we click go to resource and we get information about that resource, what we need to do is copy um, this public IP address. So let's copy that public IP address. And then we need to go to the terminal uh, on our Mac. Uh, if you're on Windows, load up PowerShell. The, uh, the commands are exactly the same. So load up the terminal window. Uh, the first thing we need to do is actually either chmod that key or move it somewhere where it's not accessible by others. So I am just gonna put that into my documents folder. Then inside my documents folder, I'm actually going to see it's mod 400. Perfect. Uh, so same command if you're on PowerShell or terminal, it's um, SSH minus I, then the location of the file we just modded, which is our key par. Then it's Azure user, which is our default user we didn't change, at the IP address that we copied earlier. And then if we hit enter, hopefully that's us in. So you can see that we're in now, now we're into our into our new EC2 instance. As you can see, demo one delete. Okay, so that's kind of um, us for today. The last thing really remember is to stop your instance so it doesn't cost you any money. So do you want to reserve the IP address, public IP address? No, uh, let's close that down. Um, I'll make all this information uh, for free on my website as always, uh, www.johnnychivers.co.uk. And until next time, thanks for watching.